Order 66 brought forth a new empire, a new empire that would serve the Sith alone. In paving the way for the new Sith Empire, Vader had to take care of a few things, to say the least. One of those things, as we famously remember, were the Jedi younglings inside the Jedi Temple, hiding out in fear, not knowing who to trust and who to turn to. All those Jedi heroes were now gone, and Master Skywalker was the only one left. The sad part is that those younglings did not recognize the darkness in Master Skywalker at that time. In fact, there was no Master Skywalker. There was only Darth Vader. Vader had accepted his dark truth and went on to wipe out not only the Jedi Order, but the Jedi younglings that remained also. Forgetting the fact that he once was a Jedi youngling himself, that's how he came into the Jedi Order a nine-year-old nobody from Tatooine. Some had aspirations that he would one day become the chosen one, and some did not believe in the prophecy altogether. Whatever it was, nobody could really foresee what was about to happen with the dark, twisted fate of Anakin Skywalker. And that Jedi youngling that he once was would not leave him so soon. In fact, he would find the same Jedi youngling really soon once he met up with Sidious. It seemed that Palpatine was very pleased with Vader about his mission in locating and destroying the Jedi Master Eeth Koth, so much so that he rewarded him with a memorabilia, something that Vader thought was lost forever. The Nubian ship that he once shared with the love of his life, Padme Amidala, the vessel that took both of them on adventures. It was fully restored just the way he remembered it all those years that it was marveled in beauty. What awaited him inside was completely different, however. In fact, not beautiful at all. As we saw in yesterday's video, Vader had one more wish for Palpatine to grant him one planet that was harboring Vader's mind ever since he left there from bleeding his kyber crystal. The planet was none other than Mustafar, and that's exactly what Palpatine wanted to hear. Vader accepting the dark side fully and embracing its full potential. But we will talk more about this in the next video. Right now, we will move along to the main topic of this video. The moment Vader stepped inside the Nubian ship and started his journey to Mustafar. Inside, something frightening was waiting. A little boy resembling the young and naive Anakin Skywalker. Suddenly Anakin turns to look. His face resembled something out of nightmares. It was morphed into Darth Vader's mask. He was a literal monster. As Vader approached him, Anakin was staring him dead in the eyes and Vader the same, looking at him from above. The child was a literal morphed monster, a representation of what he once was and what he had now become. The past and the present were here and now. Now, suddenly we realized that Vader was having a dark, bizarre vision, a fictionalized vision of himself. So what did this all mean? Why was a child Anakin standing there with a face mangled and morphed to a monstrous level? First of all, other than the grave of Padme Amidala, her ship was the most nostalgic and hurtful thing that Vader could relive again. All that time spent in there first as a child Anakin and then a young adolescent one was devastating for a Sith that was trying to forget his past. Papatine knew this and that's exactly how he was testing his new apprentice. With this vision, Vader revealed his inner thoughts. At least that's what it seems to me personally. Here's the real reason why I think Anakin appeared as a monster and why his face was morphed into darkness. It's simple. At this point in his life, I think Vader's memory of when he was young and naive was slowly fading. The creepy feeling I get here is that that's the only way Vader could remember himself as a child. The dark side had corrupted his mind so much that the kid in him no longer existed. His mind was so warped that he couldn't even remember his handsome childlike face once roaming the streets of Tatooine. 
everything he will remember from now on will probably be skewed by darkness all the time. That's what this little monster represented to Vader. Nothing more than fading memories. Something that he could no longer remember properly. And that's the saddest part that this issue number 21 revealed from the Darth Vader comic series. This was frightening to make man and ultimately very, very sad. Sad to see Vader so corrupted and blurred. Nothing would ever be the same for him moving forward and that's what we will get to see in the future installments of this comic series. Of course, everything will be updated here on the Star Wars Comics channel guys, so stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a thumbs up down below. Also, hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day my Star Wars friends and may the Force be with you always.